It's not quite the old fashioned fusty thing with new fashion nerdy thing that movies like Abraham Lincoln Vampire Killer or the book Pride and Prejudice and Zombies are doing, but John Cusack's new movie, The Raven, which stars John Cusack, playing Edgar Allan Poe late in his career, famous, writing for a newspaper in Baltimore, uh, deeply upset and alcoholic, solving a bunch of murders that involve uh, people being killed in grisly setups that mirror his own darkest writings, is nonetheless this weird kind of old new mishmash that doesn't ever quite work. Interestingly, it's probably about the best movie that could be made from such a dumb idea. Combining the 20th, 21st century phenomenon of serial killers or uh, celebrity adulation or celebrity stalkerdom with one of the first, you know, really famous American writers, Edgar Allan Poe. But unfortunately, it ends up being a kind of a mishmash. Um, it's this weird, kind of well shot, you know, really well costumed and composed period drama that's got a bunch of off-putting and slightly upsetting CGI shots of ravens going into the camera lens and bullets flying directly towards you like it was supposed to be shot in 3D or something that ends up upsetting the whole thing. So yeah, I ask, why do you tell this story? Like it's not the, a grand history or a reclamation of Poe as a character because we don't learn much about him other than he's a violent drunk who loves a woman a lot. You realize that it's being told because it's a murder mystery and murder mysteries are going to be that kind of undying genre for movies that even though they've been relegated to TV mostly in the past couple of years, you understand that even a bad murder mystery is still kind of engaging because it gets you right in your guts of oh no he's going to kill Edgar Allan Poe's girlfriend unless he can solve the riddle and the mystery and so on and so forth. But again, why do you tell this story? Why do you make it about Edgar Allan Poe? The movie doesn't explore the age, uh, the time, to, it doesn't tie the motivation of the killer into the, you know, collective unconscious of a place in time the way that, say, you know, the killer in David Fincher's Zodiac was. It, it doesn't identify this kind of tightly knotted ball of worms of anxiety and neuroticism that's laying slightly below the surface of the collective consciousness the way that, you know, David Fincher's movie Seven did when it invented the, the killer in that movie. Instead, it tries to do this middle ground, this not quite Agatha Christie thing where the killer has a motivation that is not really surprising or even all that comprehensible really in the context of the movie, but it tries to pull this and kind of gotcha on it. When it's one of these classic kind of parlor room mysteries if it in, in a weird way where the killer ends up being something you know and this is not a spoiler you know this is going to happen before the movie's 20 minutes old somebody that you've already met and their motivation is going to be surprising when it happens although it's not really and it ends up just kind of being a letdown. So what should you watch instead? If you want to watch one of the best of these movies, a movie that captures a spirit of an age and, and the motivation of a killer that seems reasonable and tied to the bigger issues about why you would make a film. It's not just a, this is a story about a guy that got a crazy idea in his head and decided to kill a bunch of people. A movie that takes the themes of its killer and makes them about character and time and place. Rent Clint Eastwood's directorial debut, which we may already have recommended on this show, but nonetheless, Rent, play Misty for me. It's the first movie he directed about a DJ that's stalked by an ardent, adulatory fan who just wants to be with him so much and love him in every single way. And it's got a weird tie-in to uh, Edgar Allan Poe, too, because she takes her name from the Edgar Allan Poe Annabelle Lee, which has a big part uh, of The Raven anyways. Interesting bit of crossover there, Mike.